Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. If you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you coming back to the channel. And today's topic is going to be an interesting one, guys. But before we do get into that, if you guys haven't checked out my latest video on who's doing it better right now based on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and licensing with the companies with Super 7, um, Playmates, NECA... I covered as well loyal subjects. If you guys are interested in my opinion on who's doing it better, go ahead and check it out in my uh, playlist. But back into the video today, what we're going to be talking about is something that I cover uncovered to be pretty much an interesting topic. And now this isn't based on, obviously, as you guys can see, toys as much. Well, this isn't going to be based on the comic book as much. But it is going to be a topic to discuss within um, toy topics. Because that being said, we are getting, as you guys can see, the Night Watcher comic book by IDW. So this comic book, it's something for us toy collectors in the toy community to get uh, pretty hyped up, I feel. And the reason why is because of this comic is successful as a familiar comic lore was, hence running, we might be seeing a lot more of the Night Watcher than what we expected. And this Night Watcher uh, lore can pick up a new toy line, can pick up a game, a movie, who knows? It all depends when it comes to things like this, honestly. It depends on the success of the sales and how much people love the Night Watcher lore. If it succeeds a lot, in corporate standards, I believe, we can get more. Hence toys, hence movies, TV shows, uh, games. Now, I don't know if some of you are familiar with the night watcher the night watcher was first released in the turtle movie i think it was 2004 2007 and that version of the night watcher was Raphael because that's the only way he kept himself distracted being that the the brothers were all doing their own stuff and leo kind of abandoned the team to find his inner self so with that being said, Raphael wanted to still kick ass without, you know, the Turtles knowing. So he disguised himself as the Night Watcher, which is pretty cool. It was a pretty cool suit, a pretty cool story in the movie. So now for that to get his own spinoff, I think it's going to be great. And that also being said, not only do I feel like it's going to be great, it can be a different Turtle this time around as I was reading it might not be Raph. We're going to find out at the end of that first issue, I believe. You'll find out who is the Night Watcher. But, guys, as Mikey was the last running. So, Mikey was the last running. So, I believe we can eliminate Mikey off the topic. Because why would we want an another version of Mikey when we got the badass last running Mikey? Which I don't think any other version can top that. He's the last running. <laughs> so, with that being said, we have Raph. Donnie, Leo left, or do we? Because it could be April O'Neil, and it could be uh, Casey Jones. Who knows? We never know if it's one of them. I'm hoping that they stick with Raph, because that is the way I feel. That is the way that um, his personality is when it comes to all four turtles. So if it's going to be anyone, I think it should be Raph. That's my own opinion. Raph was it in the beginning, in the movie, and I think it, it just goes good with Raphael. Now, if it's not going to be a turtle, I think Casey Jones should be it. Because Casey Jones' personality kind of resembles Raphael. Now, with that being said, that's my opinion on the this issue and why I think it's um, an interesting topic to talk about. Let's dig in more into the toy side of things. So when it comes to the toys, we've seen so many licenses, as I explained in my other video, so many companies having the license to Nickelodeon's turtle figures as Last Run-In, as um, 
NECA's movie line, NECA's animated series line, Super 7 and their multiple lines, Loyal Subjects, Playmates, Mesco, all these companies are doing their own versions of these figures. So, it's interesting for me to see if we are going to get these kind of spin-offs and, and it's going to kick off in a lot of different ways presenting toys and, and figures and movies and whatnot. Who's going to be... Who's going to get the license first? Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Super 7? Is it going to be NECA? Is it going to be Playmates? So Subject, Mesco. Who is it going to be and who will do it better? It's a topic we're going to cover in the other video. I think, if so, I think NECA should dip their foot into that line because, because NECA has successfully done their last running line. And we've seen what NECA has done with the last running comic book figures and how awesome these figures are and how many different versions they give us and the accessories and the price range so i think that NECA should really take that into consideration and hopefully making these uh these figures for the night watcher series if it succeed again we don't know if it's even going to succeed but i would just love to see some new figures and honestly the night watcher I've been eyeing it and like that kind of figure. And even if it wasn't based on the comics, I think Playmates should do a reissue of that figure of the old ones that they made from that from the original movie. I think Playmates should definitely give us one of their versions as well. Plus, if NECA's doing it, Playmates is definitely most likely going to do it as they did their version of the last running. I mean, it was one or two figures, but they still did their own kickoff. So... I think definitely Playmates should dip their foot in, in the water on that. Or um, Loyal Subjects should definitely sink their teeth in it as well. Because Loyal Subjects is not shy to take chances. So even if the big companies like NECA and Playmates and Super 7 don't want to do it. I think this is a good starting kickoff point for Loyal Subjects to do their own version. Even if the show or I mean the comic book doesn't pick up. Like I'm hoping it does. I still think that even if not at least a spinoff from Super 7. We've seen what they've done. And I think they can do something. Even just the one basic figure from uh, Loyal Subjects. I think that figure will kick ass. And I feel like it's going to be a great figure. And I think again. I think even to, to see it as first time being in the line as a figure. I definitely think Loyal Subjects should be the one to bring to offer us that. I'll put mad respect on Little Subject for that. And I think they they would do a good job. I think they'll keep it for a great price, about twenty bucks. They would do it for about their their figures are pretty small. But however, I feel like they're the perfect kind of candidate to do it on to be the first to do it, to offer it and other companies to see the success on that figure sales. Because Again, the figure looks like something that loyal subjects would get their hands on. Being that, well not the figure, the, the character looks like a figure that loyal subjects can do. And do a great uh, presentation of it, or inversion of it. Being that, he, he also looks pretty cool. I mean, he's got the armor. We can see he's got the kind of whole armor arm on one side and the other side... It's just kind of like my style. Like I said, I don't like when you get a complete armor. I like kind of like the mix and match and broken type of armors. Missing like a gauntlet or whatnot in one arm and stuff like that. So that's what we're seeing with the Night Watcher. And I think he's a pretty kick-ass character that can definitely get his own figure. So let's hope, guys, that we're going to see um, a Night Watcher figure. Even, even if it's just a one you know, just to see how it does. Even if it sells poorly, I just hope to see it because I personally want one. And it's, again, I st stated earlier, this is something I've been, you know, thinking about ever since. Every time I see about uh, that 2007 or 4 movie of the Turtles, I, th I think about the Night Watcher character and how we only have one figure based on that character, which is the one based on the movie from Playmates. And no other, um, no other company has... Um, try to do that figure you know a new version of that figure so i mean i'm hoping we get it guys i really am let me know what you guys think in the comments below will we get a night watcher figure should we get a night watcher figure 
do you think the comic is going to do well? Um, and what are your thoughts on it? Just let me know in the comments down below. And again, guys, if you're new to my channel, I have a lot of turtle content. And I just talked about recently who is doing a better overall, a better job in the turtle community toy lines. Who is offering the most for your for your money and quality and stuff like that so if you guys are interested go ahead and check out that video it's a good one it's a pretty long one to be fair but it's a good one and it's a good topic to talk about and we can continue conversations on the comments down below and stay tuned for my next video where i'm going to discuss more about just playmate in particular and why i feel playmate is a great toy line and what it offers and what kind of collector should go after the playmates figures so with that being said thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoy my thoughts on this night watcher uh character and hopefully we get the figure with that being said i'll catch you guys on the next one